Hey guys, Computer1633 here, and we're going to go ahead and play some One Hour, One Life. Uh, now, I haven't gotten to play this in a couple of weeks. Uh, I've been on vacation, and uh, there's been a couple of major updates uh, while I was gone. And so I know normally I stream it, um, but I'm tired. It's been a long week, and I'm just uh, excited to get to play, so I thought I would just record it. Uh, as always, we're going to play on server 15. So if you decide you would like to join, uh, feel free. All right. So apparently with the apocalypse update, it was uh, it wiped out all the worlds. So um, we're just going to go ahead and start from scratch. See what we can do. Now, I guess uh, that that was disabled, at least for now, um, because a lot of people were quite unhappy about losing all the progress and the ability for players to trigger that. So I guess that's temporarily disabled. Um, but the worlds are still wiped. So looking for some water here. We will see if we can get a decent start going here tonight. Uh, like I said, I haven't played in a couple of weeks, so it's kind of Gotta get back into the <laughs> back into the rhythm of it. Okay, so I can't find any water. There was that one puddle back there, but that's it. Uh, so let's keep looking. So here's that puddle. Um, let's go south and see what we can find. I have to grab some berries here real fast too. So that I don't die. There's berries. And one more just to be... There we go. Okay. Well, let's see. So south has rabbits, but no water. There's a berry bush. There's a berry bush. I've got some more green down here. Oh, wait a minute. Swamp? Nope. Oh, see, this is really cool. The desert. I hadn't seen this yet. <laughs> That's really cool looking. It's like the highest ground texture in the game right now. That's funny. All right, so let's grab one of those. So I'm looking for a spot, a good spot to start. It needs rabbits, it needs water. Um, reading through the, the uh, update notes and the forums, it looks like there's several other changes to how farming is going to happen from now on and um, you know, different crop viability. Oh my gosh, there's a rattlesnake. <laughs> uh, I knew it was there, just hadn't seen one. That's awesome. Okay, so I'm not finding any water. Here's a little bit of swamp, but no water. I need food too soon. There's some food right there. Okay, so this so far is not off to a great start. Let's go this way and see what we can find. This is just a big desert. Okay. Uh, oh, wait a minute. Here's some swimmers. There's one. There's another one. That's two. Two. Really? That's it? I mean, that's double what we found previously, but it's still... Oh, wait. There's another one right there. Three. Three pawns. That is not very good. I'll keep it in mind, but... Uh, there's one way down here. Man, it's just... It's just not very ideal, honestly. Hmm. I'm just going to run around a little more, see if I can find something. Maybe a little more water. I like this, this swamp, though. 
swamps are generally a good place to find large quantities of water. So if I can find a large quantity of water, then all I gotta do is find some close grass. Or really any terrain, I guess, would work. Oh, wait a minute, here we go, look at this. We got three, four, five, six, six duck ponds. Or goose ponds. We got some green, that's good. We got rabbits to the south, that's good. This looks promising, as long as we can find some berries. Berries? Oh, there's some. Okay. This looks promising. Alright, so all of the water is up here. By the brown, right? Yeah. Let me just scout around the perimeter of this green real fast and just see what else is here. If anything. Um, okay, so we do have some dirt. We do have some milkweed. That's good. Wow, that's a big green area. Got more desert down south, a little more swampland, and then back over towards where the rabbits were down here. Okay. Alright. Well, I think I'll just maybe start down in this area then. Somewhere right in here, wherever there's like a decent amount of room get a small farm started at least something to eat I would rather find myself a slightly clear area where there's room I hate jamming everything into like little tiny space oh wait a minute here we go no it's not very much room well it might have to oh that's a rattlesnake might just have to cram everything in there. Alright. Well, let's, I guess, get started on this. First things first, we'll put down our home marker, I guess. Um, put the home marker right there. Seems like a sort of decent spot for it. I'm going to grab that. And wait for this one to. There we go. Fruit. All right. So now we got a little bit of string. The first thing I'm gonna want to work towards is uh, getting a farm set up, uh, and also getting a snare, so I get uh, water pouches. Where's the areas? All right. So let me see. There was another milkweed up here. So now let's grab this and big stick. Oops. Okay. So this and then this on here makes the snare. All right. So now we can get started on trapping. Uh, get some clothes made and get some meat. Okay, so these have not bred yet. They're not families. So I will leave those for now. Let me grab my sharp stone here. Dig this up. And then move it out of the way. And I need food. Okay. Food planted. Now, I thought that you could restack these. <laughs> Doesn't appear you can, however. Flint chip. I thought you could stack these stupid things. Flint chip and flint chips. Nothing. Huh. So, flint chip and flint chips. Single does 
really nothing. So that sucks. Okay. Alright. I need a basket to get started on the uh, farm. I would prefer to use all reeds if I could. I don't really like using... down because then they'll regrow. Okay. Gotta remember to watch my food. that for anything. So let's go ahead and move these up here. Hmm. It's very odd that you can... Yeah, you just can't stack the singles. Okay, well, I guess that's just how it is. Where are those other baskets at? They're down here somewhere. Nope, that's too far. Uh, there we go. <laughs> All right, so let's take these back. This will be a good. And we go down and see. I'm thinking those rabbits are probably bred by now, so we can capture a couple of those. And we'll use the first couple for water skins for crops. So we can get some food going. Because these berries aren't going to last too long. Hello, horse. Okay. So let's go this, get that last basket. back over here all right so uh, the water is there so I think I'll just start putting in crops in this area right here Oh, now they're also added uh, the ability to name your lineage. Uh, it's also another feature that I have not actually gotten to try out yet. So we need to come up with a name. And I don't... Uh, I don't exactly know how... Oh, there's lots of berries over here. Okay. Well, that's good. At least we have lots. Oh, you go to grab it and it goes away. All right, let's bring this back over here. Um, yeah, so we can name our character. Let me get some more dirt. I should probably. I'm getting lost here. That. I'm getting lost here. There's, there's a lot of stuff to do right now. And I need to make sure that I do this in, a, in an order that's going to be productive. Okay, so that's a family. So let's trap that one. Alright, in the mean... 
time, I need to start thinking about a fire. Which means I'm going to need more string so that I can make a hatchet for kindling. Alright. So I'll wait for this one and this one to fruit. I'll use those for... I'm also going to need string for the fire bow drill as well. I almost feel like milkweed should be the first thing I harvest, honestly. Alright. So there's... One. I need one more string now. Which, actually, all the plants I need are right here. And it looked like there was another one ready right down. Oh, I missed it. Oh, wow, there's actually a lot of milkweed down here. Holy crap. There's more down here. Wow. Okay. Well, we're good then on milkweed. I even got some string right there that I need to bring back up here. Okay, so there's that. Now I need to eat. Okay. Uh, so I need this for the bow drill. I need... this to actually get the fire started. Where's my sharp stick? Or not, not stick. Sharp stone. Where did my sharp stone go? Let's make another one because oh, it's right there. <laughs> okay. So we'll do that. And this. Put, oops, no. Grab the string. Put the string on here. Put that on there. Okay, there's that. Now we need one more maple tree. Huh. One more maple tree. Okay, so there's another string. I'm going to need string to make the water pouches, so it's not a big deal to harvest it now. Grab these berries. Grab. I already took that one. Uh, here's a maple tree right there. No, nope, that isn't what I meant to grab, but I'll take it, I guess, since I'll need that anyway. Alright, maple tree right there. Alright, here's our other stick. Which we will wither down. Grab that. Attach it to the stick. And there we go. Now we can make kindling. Perfect. Okay. So I need one more maple tree. Now to actually get the fire started. Here we go. Okay. So I'll put that there. I need my other sharp stone, which was over here. Use it on that. Uh, I need to eat again. Okay. Uh, I need a leaf. Okay, that looks good. Let's do this. Use the leaf on it. Put it in the tinder. This is all the same as it's always been. Same process. Alright, now we've got fire. I'm going to get that ready to go. Uh, yeah. Okay. And I'm going to go catch a couple more rabbits. Put that up here. I need to eat, but I also want to collect this. This one, as soon as it does its thing here. There we go. Okay. 
So now I have three string, that's enough to make three water pouches, which is uh, how many fits into those baskets, so that makes me happy. Let's eat again. Alright, let's go down and check our rabbits. Okay, one rabbit. And you are now a family. I'm going to grab my, one of my baskets while I'm waiting for that rabbit to get trapped. trap that one while I'm down here just so I have one ready to go for later all right let's go do this so we can start farming oh I need to get that going again can't let it die down yet so I get these rocks out of my way here. Okay, so let's go ahead. Actually, you know what? My string is up here, so I think I'll unload these up here. Not if I have room, which it's kind of looking like I don't actually have the room to do that. Okay, so let's take the basket back over here. One of these flint chips. Uh, what the heck did I just do that for? <laughs> I'm not thinking. Okay. Let's do this again. Let's cut up these rabbits. All right. Now, let's take this. Let's get ourselves a skewer. Okay. Let's take the furs and stack those over here. We'll use those in a minute. Let's grab our skewer. Go ahead and cook these. I'm actually going to eat this one now because I need the food and I need the bones. Alright, so let's grab that, cook it, grab that one, cook that one, put the skewer down, and get the fire going again. Alright, now let's go ahead and grab this, and we take this over here with the flint, chisel it into a nice little needle. Needle with thread, grab a leather, slice the leather up, grab the needle and thread, and a water pouch. All right, so let's do that a couple more times here, real fast. That one, this one, and Now we have three of them. Okay. Alright, so let's grab a basket. And go get some water. Okay. So... Now we can get water, which means that we can grow food and survive. Yay. 
Okay. Uh, I need seeds. So I think I'm going to put berries in over here first. So let's come grab some of these. Berries don't really do a whole lot, but... They're pretty easy to grow, and they do continue to come back, so... That's a bonus to having berries planted. And the whole thing about this is trying to sustain yourself or others if they spawn in. So let's start with some berries. Okay. Alright. So that's the first of our food production. Um, I'm just going to move these baskets. Oops. Okay. So now we've got a little bit of food production going. Uh, I need to get that fire. Some kindling or it's going to die. And I don't want it to die. It's... The process is kind of a pain in the ass to do it over and over again. Just easier to keep it alive, honestly. Okay, let's go ahead and eat this. So that's our last rabbit. And food is just like... I'm just burning through food. So the other thing uh, that I was talking about earlier, naming, you can name your family line now. And I'm kind of curious to know if that <coughs> persists through uh, a death. And then if you spawn back in, you know, if there's nobody to take you as a child, if it keeps your family name or not. So I will have to come up with something before I die of old age to test that, because I am curious. Right, let's grab some food. And then while I'm over here, I'll grab some wood for kindling. So my fire doesn't go out. actually gonna move these over and maybe expand out to the side as well just get a, just a bunch of berries growing I don't think that's a bad idea and then we'll get milkweed started and we'll get some uh, Here's some more soil right here. This is closer. Alright, so let's put this down. Now, is this something that I can cut down without a, an axe? Maybe the sharp stone. Ha, ah, I can. Okay, so let's move rose matter root. I don't really know what that's for, but I'm going to move it. So that I can put in some more dirt for planting. Alright, so there's a berry there. Let's go eat some more berries. Here we go. Okay. Let's go grab a basket. We'll collect some more dirt. actually going to take it, yeah, I'm going to move this, yeah, I'll probably put the fence in somewhere in that area, so I'm going to grab some more of this, okay, and now we have our, uh, 
or berry bushes. So let's grab another flint. And now that we have more berry bushes, we can actually use these to make even more. These are not the best source of food, uh, but they're also not the worst. And for one person at least, um, berries can sustain you if you have enough of them. <laughs> you gotta have enough of them, that's the trick. Uh, that's a lot too. But. Let's go ahead and fill up the last three, and then we'll plant berries into those last three. And then I think I'll work on maybe, hmm, maybe planting some, hmm, milkweed would be probably the next thing I would want to go for. Okay. And my fire's going to die. I need kindling. Yes. Hopefully I can get this before it goes out. <coughs> ah, I did. Good. Let's go get some more. I need an axe so I can chop down a bunch of these trees that are in the way. <coughs> And just use it for firewood. Okay, so let me get some more berry seeds. Okay. Let's go ahead and put these in this bottom row here. And use the water. Oops. So now we've got nine berry bushes that will help to sustain us, at least for now. Uh, I would like to get some clothing so I didn't run out of food so quickly as I do now. Um, I'm going to need more rabbits though. Alright, so let's see. Is there... There's some more rabbits up, so let me just do this, and I'll move this up here. Google down the rabbit hole, okay. Let's go get that, that one. Actually, I'm going to eat one of these berries while I'm doing that, okay. Uh, one rabbit's not really a real good haul. And I also am out of string, so I definitely need milkweed. Um, let's see, where would be a good spot for milkweed anyway? Hmm. Well, I don't know. I really wish I could get rid of these trees. I think I'm going to work on getting tools so I can cut down these trees and build out the farm uh, because I need tools. I need space if I'm going to expand and I'm going to need tools. So I need to figure out where I want to put my structures at. Um, since I don't, I don't think you can take them down yet. I think they're still permanent in the world. So I need to put them out of the way. Hmm. Kind of thinking about building them like 
I don't know, in the swamp or something, just out of the way. So that I can get the tools, but then... spot considering all the reeds that are there yeah let's do that where's my uh, my clay okay so I'm gonna do it like right in this area need to go eat starting to go down which means that I don't have too much time left on this life so let's just see how much we can get done before we die and like always the ultimate death the old age haven't seen that that's changed, so as far as I know, <laughs> old age means we should spawn back in here still. I can't imagine that was changed. Um, I'm a little bit disappointed that the uh, apocalypse feature got removed so quickly. Um, okay. So, let's make a dobe out of this. Um, I like the idea um, of a way to wipe the world. It keeps things, you know, interesting. Um, but apparently, other people did not like it, and so now it is on suspension. I don't know if it'll come back or not. I guess we'll see. Hopefully it does in some form. Um, because I think that that idea is really cool. Uh, and even like if it was in the form of like, I don't know, natural disasters that don't happen often. Or, you know, like there was an ice age or uh, I don't know. Something like that would be kind of cool. I think it won't be as much of an issue once we get past, you know, once there's enough stuff to keep people occupied. I think that's the biggest issue right now is just, you know, there, there's a good amount of content, but I need to eat. But it's, I mean, realistically, there's just not a whole lot yet, and it's fairly easy to get through the content that is there uh, pretty quickly. And then what, you know? Um, and I think that's that's what had happened. That's why I like the idea of the apocalypse. Um, because now, you know, we're starting over again. It's not stale. It's not, you know, not spawning into a giant town with, you know, where you're the fifth bear rug maker i mean you know it's back to oh i don't know if those snakes can hurt me or not but i'm going to assume they can and stay away from them <laughs> all right so i need some more kindling because this is going to die shortly this freaking snake is coming right into my camp Go away, snake. Alright, let's go find some close by berries. And I 
don't want to go too far just because my food situation. I would like to stay somewhat close to the camp. And also that way I know where the food is. Um, but I want to still try and be as productive as possible. Like this. This is good. There we go. Yes, eat. Alright, so if I get... Let's see, one more. Oh, there's a bunch of berries up here. Okay. So if I can get one more... I guess I'll just wait for this one here. That gives me a rope or two string. I can start making clothes on my next life. Alright, so let's take these back to camp. Snake is still there. Set the rabbit trap. Oh, I did. It's up here. Okay, so I'm gonna take this back up here. And then I'm going to grab this. All right. Better than nothing, right? Okay. So now I have a hat. That's, uh, at least that's something. Let me grab some more kindling before I die. Alright, so old age death occurs at three total food boxes. I am currently at eight total food boxes. So I have a few food boxes to go before the old age death. Eat one of my berries here. Uh, I don't have a whole lot that I can do, however, because I don't have a very big food meter, so wandering too far away is going to get me killed. Um, what I can do is just start kind of bringing wood up here getting it close, plus this will allow the wood to respawn, which is also good, especially for those maple trees. That's like really good. Let's grab this one, bring this over here. This is just also easy kindling, honestly. Okay, now's the point where I need to really watch um, my food meter because it's going to stop dinging at me and just, oh yeah, see it has already. So this is the point where you really got to watch it because it'll stop telling you that you're hungry and you'll just die. And then you randomly spawn. And so it seems from reading about it that the new spawn system, uh, in order to try and help with the, the stagnant communities and you know, spawning in and running any direction and just running into ruins. Uh, now, I guess it spawns eaves a certain distance away from structures, but in wilderness. Uh, so, uh, it's possible to find your base, but apparently much, much, much less likely now since this update uh, and that's on purpose and that's fine with me I mean that, that seems good uh, as long as the old age death still works uh, it is going to require more education of new players on how to raise you know babies and how to 
sustain a colony. Because otherwise everybody's just going to be spawning out in the wilderness. We're never going to get anything built. So I think education now of new players is even more important than it was. That's fine. Uh, it's part of the game. It's kind of one of the things that makes this game so much fun is just, you know, passing on the information. Uh, kind of like when it was brand new and people didn't know recipes yet. And, you know, passing forward that information was part of the fun. So we're just going to wait out the old age death here. We're almost there. So we've got a colony started. I made myself a hat. Uh, doesn't help a lot with temperature, but it will help a little bit. Um, So, our next life, we're going to need to try and get more clothes and possibly a backpack made. Uh, I'm going to try and get a forge set up so we can do a little bit of smelting and get an axe. Um, so we can clear out some of those trees right in the you know very local area of the farm. Uh, just so we have the room available for uh, expanding out. We need more berries. We need... Uh, milkweed and we need carrots um, so I think that will be what we'll focus on next time uh, I'm gonna go ahead and call this video here um, like I said I just got back from vacation so I'm really tired uh, I'm gonna get some sleep so I hope you guys enjoyed it if you did please like and subscribe uh, now that I'm back I'm gonna be uh, trying to put up a lot more videos of not just this game but other games uh, so I, I hope you guys enjoy it. Uh, any comments, feedback, or recommendations, feel free to share it with me. Uh, and I look forward to seeing you next time. Thanks a lot, guys.